Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Bantz here. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to get DS4 Windows working for your PS5 controller. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I had a bunch of comments on my previous DS4 Windows video where I showed you guys how to set up on the PS5 controller. Whilst it did work for the vast majority, there is still some people out there that it's not working for. I've done some digging around on the internet and I think I found some solution for you guys. So if this does apply to you, then stick around till the end of the video because hopefully this will help. So before we jump into my PC and I start showing you guys the technical side of things, the first thing I will always recommend to people is make sure that you've got a USB Type-C cable that supports data transfer. That is a key thing in their data transfer. If you're using just a regular charging cable, it is not going to work on your PS5 controller. It needs to support data transfer. I'm going to jump into Amazon real quick and I'll show you guys a cable you're probably going to want to buy if you haven't got any USB Type-C cables that support data transfer. And I'll also leave a link for it in the description if you guys do want to purchase it. Okay, so here we are on Amazon and this is the cable you're going to want to look for. This is a USB Type-C cable that supports data transfer. If you come over here to the about this item section, we can see here it says up to 480 megabytes per second data transfer. That is what you always want to look for when you're purchasing a cable to run your controllers from. It doesn't have to be this cable in particular. It could be any cable that supports data transfer. And the reason why I'm recommending the Amazon Basics cable is because this is the cable I also use and it works great. Never had any issues with it. Um, so yeah, just make sure your cable has data transfer on it because if it doesn't, then this is completely not gonna work for you. All right, so let's jump into the technical side of things now. So you're trying to get your controller connected to this app here. First thing I would recommend is go over to the control panel go into view devices and printers and now we're just going to plug this controller in okay so we've got the control plugged in and you see it's just popped up there as wireless controller just go ahead and double click on that go into hardware double click on this click on change settings and then go to drivers and click uninstall driver i'm not going to do it on my one because i don't have to go through the hassle of reinstalling my drivers but click on uninstall driver once you've done that just click ok you can come off this page now Open DS4 Windows, go over to settings and click on controller slash driver setup. When you click on that, it'll open up this page. Just click yes, it'll scan your computer and update the drivers for you and make sure you've got the correct ones downloaded. Uh, that is one method to get your one working on DS4 Windows. If this one didn't work for you, then we're going to move on to the next one. Now, the next thing you can do is for some reason this works. I don't know why it works for some people. It doesn't work for everyone. It works for some people. If you download this app, it's called Xbox 360 Controller Emulator, which I'll also leave a link for down in the description um, and run this alongside DS4 Windows. And how this works is pretty simple. You go through it and you set up your buttons. I've actually got a video completely explaining how to set your controller up on this app, which I'll also link in the description. There's going to be a lot of links in that description for you guys. Um, so you can go ahead and watch that video if you want to set this app up as well. And you can, yeah, you can run it alongside DS4 Windows and this does work for some people. I've also had some people telling me that they're having difficulties actually opening DS4 Windows once they've closed it. So as you can see, I've just closed DS4 Windows. We're going to go ahead and click X and I'll click back on it. Nothing's opening. Right. So why is this happening? It's basically because the app is running in the background. So you can just go ahead, click on this little arrow that's pointing upwards here. You'll see the DS4 icon. You've got to just click that twice. And there you go, DS4 will open. I know it seems really simple, but some people miss that. It's easy, it is quite easy to miss. I mean, I've missed that as well in the past. I've clicked on DS4 a thousand times. And I'm like, why is this not opening? And then I can finally get it to open in the end. Simply just by clicking on the actual icon that's running in the background. These methods should work for you. They should get your controller up and running. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. If you've come here from a different video, go and watch the video where I showed you how to set up DS4 Windows on your PS5 controller, just in case it's different to the one you watched. Um, and hopefully my one works for you. And if it doesn't, then these methods should get it working and get it fixed. These are the only methods that I know currently that can get it working. But the first one was a big one. Make sure your controller does support the data transfer because if it doesn't, then it's completely not going to work for you. It doesn't matter what app you run. doesn't matter if you're trying to run this on Steam, which has full controller support for PS5. It is not going to work with a normal charging cable. The charging cable has to have data transfer on it. So that is the big one really here. I hope this works for you guys. I really do. If you did find this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications because I upload content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.